welcome. Welcome to Russell Cooks. Hello, my cookies. Come on, I got a great show tonight. It is grilling season. It is summer. I love it. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a grill. So this is going to be indoor, but this is like a grilling recipe. You can absolutely do this outside. All right. So what I've got slated today, kind of a Cuban style marinated skirt steak. Skirt steak is amazing. Cooks quick. It's tender. Great cut. And it also means just a quick marinating. I've already marinated my steak because it takes about an hour. I'm gonna make the marinade. I'm gonna cook up my steaks. I'm gonna use the marinade that I made as the sauce. I don't like reusing marinade. I'm gonna cook up a nice zucchini. All right, let's get started. First things first, let's get this marinade going. I am gonna cook it down a teeny bit, so I'm gonna make it into my pot. You're gonna need garlic, two limes, some chili flakes, whether they're red pepper flakes, crushed red pepper. I'm using Aleppo. If you ever watch my show, you know how much I love my Aleppo. You're gonna need some oranges. You're gonna need cumin. You're gonna need oregano. You're gonna need salt and Worcestershire. All right, so now that we've gathered our ingredients, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the garlic. So I got six cloves here. I'm just going to mince them up. You can absolutely use a garlic mincer here. All right, six cloves of garlic. All right, I got my six cloves of garlic. I'm going to be doing one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and you can always adjust this to taste. This Worcestershire is just going to give it an umami boom, right? And make it a little bit more meaty. A nice pop. All right, next up, I got my limes. I'm going to do a teaspoon of zest. Always zest before you juice. A teaspoon of zest and a quarter cup of juice. Preheat your grill or preheat your griddle, whatever you're doing. All right, next up, orange zest. You can do about half a teaspoon. Classic Cuban mojo style sauce. It's a uh, citrus base, got a little bit of oil in it, um, but they typically use sour oranges. You don't really have those in the States, so use a regular orange, navel, cara cara, whatever, and some lime juice. You get that same flavor. All right, so we're gonna do a quarter cup of lime juice and a half a cup orange juice. There we go, about a half cup. Now a quarter cup of lime juice. All right, we're gonna stir that right in. All right, next up is my cumin and some dried oregano. So ground cumin to a teaspoon. And oregano, I'm doing a little bit extra meat, so I'd, I'd probably do uh, one and a half teaspoons, but because this is the sauce and I'm, I'm not marinating it in this exact one, I'm gonna do one. And of course, let's not forget a little bit of spice. I use Aleppo, crushed red pepper, any type of pepper flakes. About a quarter teaspoon, depending on how spicy you want it. All right, ooh, it smells, it smells so good. Oh yeah, citrus, garlic, ooh, making a mess. All right, now that we have this, I'm gonna put this on the stove and I'm gonna try and reduce it down, not much, just a teeny bit. Bring it up to a boil and boil it for a minute or two. All right, now let's shift over to the stove where my griddle's hot. Again, you can do this on a grill. I'm doing it inside. All right, we got a hot grill. I have my marinated skirt steak right here. Maybe about two pounds, all right? Rub it down with oil. I'm gonna get it on, I'm gonna sear it up. It's gonna cook real quick. So don't walk away from this. Um, I've cut them with the grain into shorter, shorter bits. This makes it easier to handle because sometimes they come and they're like this long. All right, let's go. All right, a couple minutes each side at the most. Mmm, I just smell that sweet, citrusy, garlicky. Ooh, it's really filled the room up. I really enjoy these uh, iron weights. They just help keep things flat, help keep them pressed so they get that really good browning. Look at that. All right, my sauce is coming up to a boil. I'm gonna let it go for a minute or two, just to concentrate a little bit. Concentrate a little bit. All right, perfect. Look at that. Woo-wee. While these rest, I'm gonna get the zucchini going. Our sauce is pretty much done. All right, we're ready for our zucchini while we let these steaks rest. 
So I like getting small zucchini, smaller the better. This means you don't have as many seeds. I'm gonna cut them lengthwise. And if I was using grill, I just grill them up. Get a little oil on them. This one's a little long, cut it in half. All right, you know, oil, salt, get them on there. Now right, you're gonna want these to go for a few minutes. You don't wanna do too much. Obviously you don't want them to burn, but more importantly, they turn squishy and really liquidy when they get overcooked. That's just zucchini. This is a quick, fresh summer meal. Skirt steak, potent sauce, and some the zucchini. Nicely blackened. My sauce right here, I'm just gonna give it a little taste. Remember I put salt in the sauce. Mm. Whoa, that is bright, that is garlicky, that is gonna be great with these really rich, beefy skirt sticks. Woo wee, a little bit of that spice coming in right at the end. Oh yeah. Look at that beautiful, look at that beautiful, beautiful zucchini. It's not burnt. Dark, dark brown. This is exactly what you want. All right, a couple more minutes. I want it toothsome. Tender but toothsome. We'll get there. Bellissimo. Look at that. Very nice. Let's cut up our steak. Let's plate this thing. I am hungry. Let's get eating. Okay. Look at that char. Look how nice that looks. All right. So obviously, you want to cut across the grain. The grain is going this way. But if I cut it just like this, it's too long a piece for someone to eat. So I'm going to trim it with the grain. Ooh, look at that. And then I'm just going to slice it at an angle like this. Oh, yeah. Let me try a little piece. That is so good. That is so good. And of course, my dog shows up here. All right, let's see if we can't get another really nice piece here. Oh yeah. All right, enough of this. Let's plate it up. Now these zucchini are a little long, so I'm gonna cut these down too. I just like cutting at angles. So I'm gonna keep it up. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right, hit my meat. Team bit more salt. My zucchini, I like everything really salty. And we got our sauce right here. Bright, citrus, garlic, a little bit of that spice. Mmm. This is my favorite part. By the way, if you ever cook along or follow this recipe, you know, hit me up. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitch, obviously. I'm on YouTube. I'm on TikTok. You know how to find me. All right, here we go. Mm. It sounds so cliche. It is a symphony in my mouth. There are all these flavors. They are bright. They are summery. This just tastes like summer steak. You know how you have like summer beer or summer this, summer that. This is summer steak. To me, this is summer steak. It is bright. It is fresh. It is delicious. It is beefy. Sweet, sour, garlic, spice, umami. Mmm. Get the zucchini. Perfect. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. It is tender. It is cooked through, but it's not mushy. It holds its own shape. You can cut it. Look at that. I cut it with a fork. Straight line. This is so good. This whole thing comes together in a flash. This is a 30 minute meal. So much hands off. I'd eat this all day. You really need that lime zest and orange zest in there because the juice adds that great acidity and sweetness. But the zest is what brings that lime flavor and brings that orange flavor. That's what really makes it pop. So good. Mm, I love skirt steak. Flavorful browning on the outside. This amazing marinade. Oh, so good. Mm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go eat this off screen. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, here on Twitch. I'm cooking up at least once a week, dropping videos. See you next time. Take care.